Hi, welcome back to our lecture video. So, aside from the dot products, let's now discuss the cross products. So, the cross product, aka, uh, oh, vector product, is, or the properties of cross product is, um, I stated here in this table. So, it is not commutative. So, mathematically, we can uh, express this at the vector v cross or times u is equal to negative u times v. So, it is associative with respect to scalar multiplication. So, scalar a times v cross u is equal to just, since it is associative, we can now uh, multiply a v cross u or a u cross v. And then, it is also distributive with respect to vector addition. So, u cross v plus w is equal to just, we need to distribute this u here. So, we have u cross v, v plus u cross w. Okay. So, the cross product uh, in terms of a component can be uh, compactly written as the determinant. So, remember in your, uh, again, uh, mathematics, we can uh, use the this as the determinant. So let's say we have vector u cross v here. We can write this determinant from i, j, k direction, the uh, components u, x, y, z, and the components of v, x, y, and z direction. Okay. So if evaluated, the expression can be written as, so by using this, we can write this expression as the u, v, minus the u z times v y okay minus u x v z minus u z v x okay at j direction then u x v y minus u y v x at k direction okay so, another thing is just, let's uh, uh, see, represent this using this element i, j, and k. Okay, using this element i, j, and k. Okay. So, the technique is just, we just, uh, write the i, j, k component, the x, y, and z of vector u and vector v. And then, uh, if we are determining the element i, we just need to cover this uh, side, the i, uh, i column, then uh, make a uh, pattern like this. Okay? Pattern like this. So, the first stroke, u times v minus the other side is just uz times by. So again, for the element i, we just cover the i, the uh, I mean the i column, and then just uh, follow the stroke like this. Okay. So the first thing is just we multiply the u y v z minus this thing here. So uz times by. So this is for our i. Uh, I, element I. So for the element J, the same thing. So sorry for the noise. So the same thing, we just cover this uh, column, the J element. Since we want to uh, determine the element J, we cover this one. And then do this uh, uh, pattern, okay? So first thing is we have I, U, X times V, Z. So uh, by the way, when we are dealing with element J. There's always a negative sign here before the uh, start of the element J. Okay, this is negative. So, we have U, X times V, Z minus, minus U, Z times V, X. Okay, we have U, X, V, Z minus U, Z minus V, X, J. So, it is always uh, with the negative sign here at the front. So, for the element K, 
So again, we write the i, j, k, and the x, y, z of u and x, y, z of b. And then we cover the element k, and then we will follow this the same pattern. Oh, so now let's multiply the u, x, v, y minus this way around u, y, v, x. Okay, u, y, v, x. So u, x, v, y minus u, y, v, x. So this is for the element k. So plus the element k, it's just the element k. Okay. So the cross product is also known as the vector product. Last time we said that the uh, that product is also known as the scalar product. Where in the vector multiplied by vector yield the scalar. In here in our cross product, vector uh, the product of vector by a vector yields a vector. Okay. So there are uh, facts that is are true when comes with this cross product. So the vector, so this vector, uh, the product, vector product A cross B is at 90 degree to both vectors. So let's say we need to determine the A cross B and then the answer or it yields this vector A cross B. So this is the result. And the angle between the result is always a 90 degree to either of these two vectors. Okay. So the magnitude of the cross product is equal to the area of parallelogram. So the magnitude of this uh, cross product here is equal to the area created by this uh, parallelogram. Okay. So the area created by this parallelogram is equal to the magnitude of this uh, cross product here. So another uh, thing is that the cross product is zero in length when A and B point in the same or opposite direction. Here, the A points at opposite direction, same in axis, but in opposite direction. So the cross product here is zero. Here, the uh, vector A and vector B goes to same direction and along the same axis, then the cross product here is just also zero.